we're so blessed to be able to man to be able to do what we do in this time. And enjoy it. With this everything TV. going on in the world. Oh, like yeah. we're still we're just doing car shit. Oh but yeah. Why be miserable? Mr. Fast Gato TV. What's How's it going, man? Going you... great. Enjoying this AZ weather. You know, we had an awesome trip in Dallas, but uh, got to be honest, man. I'm. I like this dry uh, heat a little better than that humidity over there. That stuff, that stuff definitely makes you sweat. Oh yeah, well they got those tornadoes right now in Texas, oh, and I, yeah. I don't do tornadoes. No, <laughs> I like I like creating them with the with the spin off of the back wheels, but I don't like being in them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your channel about? Where can people find you? So the channel is Fascato TV. Um, on YouTube, it's Fascato. On all other platforms, we do TikTok. Uh, we have Snapchat. Uh, Twitter, Twitter is a different beast, but you know we'll just leave it at that. I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy Twitter, but uh, we have all the other platforms, TikTok, all that stuff. Uh, it's all Fascato, Instagram, everything. Uh, I got a 2016 uh, Challenger Hellcat. Uh, this was my dream car. Uh, there's a lot of things that went into motion with getting this car. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna save some of those tidbits, you know, for the for the life story reveal or something, you know, or or whoever does the first interview or something like that i don't know we'll chop it up but that being said i appreciate you guys if you go over and check out the channel uh, i do everything with my family it's not just about the car uh, thus that's why it's fast gato tv because you can watch whatever you want on tv and i didn't want to narrow it down just to one niche so uh you know we just do we travel around we do things together uh, my boys all do cars my daughter has a car my wife has a car obviously we all have cars so why not do stuff with them so that's what we do Awesome. Well, I think we're gonna go hop in this bad boy and take it for a ride. Hey everybody, how's it going? So now we are in Fast Gato. This is the Gato. This car is... Oh, did you guys hear that? This is a thousand horsepower car. Yeah. A thousand horsepower. Yep. Uh, eight, 809 to the wheels. <laughs> I can't wait. So uh, obviously, you know, on our ride-alongs, we don't we don't half-ass anything. So uh, we're going to go into full sin mode here. So we're going to go into track mode, uh, which is uh, going to be thousand horse. So one thing with these cars, you had to have an 18 or newer to be able to change the horsepower on here, where it would this should say a thousand plus, right? But it's not available in 16. Right. So it has to be 18 or newer to go into the performance pages to be able to change that. Nice. So uh, I call it that. This is a seven horse, 700 horsepower sleeper car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people uh, look and go, oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, from my understanding, this is your first time being in a Hellcat, right? This is my first ride in a Hellcat. I've ridden a lot of cars throughout my lifetime. Everything from the old school 69 Hemi Dart through, I've had 383 dual quad four speed. I mean, I grew up in all the cars, but I have never ridden in a thousand horsepower Hellcat, so this is going to be a treat. Well, you're, you're going to be uh, you're going to be in for a ride today, so you know you guys come along with us, chop it up. Uh, it's going to be cool to get his reaction. I got to ride in his car. You guys make sure go over and check out that video. Uh, it's Fast Gato TV. Um, if this is your first time to Destroyer 1320's channel, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, yes, I'm Fast Gato. Uh, the car is Fast Gato. People call me Gato. I've just adapted that name, but the car is Fast Gato. But, uh, you know, go back and check out all his videos. Go go back to the beginning, see the journey, see what led him up to this point, you know, because uh, we, we all have a journey that leads us to where we are. And, uh, you know, we love sharing this culture with people. Um, I love giving people rides in this car, man. It's like, lets me relive, you know, the first time I got it all the time. And, you know, it's just one of those things that I really enjoy sharing with people. Well, we really appreciate you have, uh, coming on Destroyer 1320. This is just going to be nuts. And as he said, well, I'll go ahead and leave a link down to all of his stuff down below in the comments. Appreciate that. And uh, I brought a new pair of underwear just in case I need it. You never know. I always keep a pair, pair of shorts. You know, this car even surprises me sometimes still. And I'll be like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. But, uh, yeah, you, you never know, you know. But we are professional drivers. Uh, you know, this, a is a, this is a closed course, you know, so disclaimer on the bottom of the video. Yeah, somewhere in, in uh, Mexico. Read the, read the fine print. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we live in Arizona. We're only like four and a half miles from Mexico, so it's a short trip. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. No. And the, we go there so often, the Border Patrol agents all know us, so. So the biggest thing that I noticed with this car since I, you know, uh, build list coming soon, but I'm going to get a little a few tidbits on there. Uh, is with the tune that's in here like this thing is too crazy so 
it almost sounds like it's cam now because the tune which was pretty mild um, according to the tuner because we only took out two degrees of timing to get well, the tune that I have on here so I have all uh, kinds of wiggle room still yeah like this is a very <laughs> mild tune Jesus and it's all and it's already like yeah it's uh I was I was I was really surprised <laughs> so we did do a 91 tune and then we did a 100 tune nice so again I picked up about a hundred horsepower on the 91 tune uh, we added wow. about four pounds of boost to the car. Yeah. And then uh, 152 horsepower on the 110. Jeez. Now that's crazy. Uh, coming from naturally aspirated, being able to to throw boost in the Jesus. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> <laughs> the best reaction is always the first one when you're not expecting it. Yep. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, this. Uh, I can see this. The tires are pretty much butter. <laughs> Every three months. Oh God. I need I a tire I'm sponsorship. If you know anybody out there, hit me up, Fast Guy. Though uh, I'll even take uh, the factory takeoffs. I don't care. I just need some burn tires. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm on uh, three. My third set in uh, fifteen thousand miles. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, twenty nine thousand miles on this car now. It's five years old, and uh, loved every minute of it. Oh, I'm I'm already loving the hell out of this thing. We have left even on the though highway yet. even though I only usually drive this car on the weekends or on road trips. Uh, you know, it's uh, definitely a lot of miles. Sounds good. <laughs> All I can feel is tire spin. <laughs> it hits second and, wind. <laughs> and I got a uh, 305s on the back of this now. Oh Jesus. It doesn't care about the tires. No, no I could probably put like 485s on the back of this thing still that you would still be spinning them. Oh, it's like the uh, the Vipers when they came out. They had those super meaty tires and it still would just eat them. Yeah. The ACRs? Oh, God, yeah. That's a, that's such a cool car. Yeah. yeah they I have one of those, a Bondurant. I got to see it there. Yeah. Oh, man. I can those things are just unreal. They have a regular one. It's different. That's crazy it's to see Radford the options. Now, though. It's huh? Rad Radford. It's now. Radford, yes. Yeah. They did they are in the process of changing everything still. But uh it's crazy to see the difference between a regular Viper and the ACR, like all the options that they put on that car. It's it is like they made it into an airplane. Yes. The aerodynamics on that ACR is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I have to say the exhaust note on this is perfect. What what mufflers do you have on here? I don't have mufflers. Nothing? So just I, have a, I have a very unique... So what I did... I, I, I don't have any cats. Okay. Um, I'm three inch all the way back. And I kept my resonators. So this is just resonators. It just, sounds... Just resonators. Great. There's no drone. I was concerned. That's the biggest thing with the resonators. The resonators Stop eliminate the drone. The drone. And it's even better, like if I'm in like my custom mode, seventh and eighth gear, you you don't even hardly hear the exhaust. Nice. Just cruising. In this mode, in track mode, it holds a higher gear. Yeah. So you tend to get to listen to it a little more. Get a little more. Good God. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's something different there. <laughs> that has got some pull. This this trans tune is nice. Yeah, it so pops into the next gear. My, uh, you know, factory. This thing shifted at about uh, fifty seven hundred. Uh, that shifts at sixty five hundred now. Oh yeah. So you I can feel it. Yeah, that's a, that's a big difference on the shift point. <laughs> that's great. Smiles per gallon, man. You're dead right on that. That's what it's all about, man. For me, is the, is the smiles per gallon. This is just incredible. And it's the feel, it's the sound. Yeah. Like I said, that, that shift is just, it's on point, man. So, I, I was gonna, I, I didn't even ask you in your car, so I, have you done the mid muffler delete on your car yet? You haven't. Dead stock. My car is, buy it off the showroom, that's what you're driving. You, you know that like just doing the mid muffler delete on that car is like gonna be a game changer. <laughs> like the way that thing sounds now, like you're hitting the gears the way it does, your car is gonna sound crazy. Oh yeah. No, I, I, I leave that, I love my neighbors, I have a great neighborhood. Um, I've, I love had, my neighbors too. They've had a few years of me 
with louder cars. Yeah. And when I bought this one, and especially right now, I'm I'm still trying to build the channel, build stuff around it. I want to, when I do it, I'm not going to go, oh, hey guys, I put an air intake on it. Hey guys, I put a throttle body spacer. I'm going hog wild or I ain't touching the car. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to sink some. It's all good content stuff. though, though. It people is. People like to see the journey. They do. And you know, I, 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 I was, I actually didn't, to be honest, I, I was wishing for it, but I did not expect to get the horsepower that I got out of, this is only the first stage of the build. This is like the minimum build <laughs> that you could do to this thing. And so just a uh, undersized pulley and so a uh, smaller pulley, uh, 1050 injectors, cause you don't, you don't yeah, want to run oh. your duty cycle too high. Oh. That's, that's a big thing that people miss. They, they ride that duty cycle on their injectors too high and then you'll end up burning the cylinder. Yeah. So invest the money. If you're going to build the car, invest it, do it right now. I had a, a couple of different shops give me quotes on doing the build. And you know, with me, I'm all about the research. I, I read all the forums, I read the stuff, and I basically put my own parts list together. Yeah. I bought the parts that I wanted to from different things, and then my buddy Brian, shout out to him, Phoenix Hellcat 426. He's got a 426 stroker in his Hellcat. Oh. 1300 to the wheels. I have to meet that guy. So uh, he's the one who actually built my car. Nice, and, uh, great job, you know, dude. We went over there and we put it all together in one day. Wow. And uh, I took it to, I, we built it on Saturday. I took the car to the dyno shop on Monday, loaded it up on the trailer on Tuesday, and went to Dallas. Wow. I hadn't even ran it. Jeez, so you broke it in on the track. On the track in Dallas. That's insane. So I had no idea what I was going to do there. Well, you ended up running what, 10 and 5? Uh, 10 and 5, 4. Woo! Uh oh. Uh, we made it to Mexico. Because I'm fanning the pedal so much. Oh my god! But you have to to keep it going straight. Oh, I felt it starting to dance, and then it caught, and then it started to dance. Yeah, so oh, you're just man. like, like the whole time, man, like until it starts hooking up, and then you give it all to it. And one thing I was really surprised though with the drag tires and running it on the track, yeah. it, it's full sin. Yeah, it's like got it, a it, it, it hooks up. And like you can feel it in your chest. Yeah. That was a feeling I had not felt before. Yep. So it was like driving a new car for me the first time I took it down the track. Because it's almost like you're taking off so fast, it's almost instant tunnel vision. Yeah. Like that's the feeling you get. Oh it, yeah. It's weird. Like I, I haven't experienced that before. Well and, and when you get that shift, you feel I mean you can watch the speedometer jump ten mile an hour in a shift. Yes. It is nuts man i can't imagine feeling this thing full full grip full sand like it, it would be cool um i think some of the tracks allow you as long as we both have a helmet we should do a ride along at the that track. would be we have like, to make I, that we'll do a launch in yours and then yes. do a launch in this one and like that, that i want I you to feel that, i want you to feel a trans brake launch yeah man difference. i would like to see that whole setup and that process that would be awesome man yeah because like i I'd love to put a trans brake in this, but I don't know what that process would be. Yeah, how hard it would be. It's, I think uh, I would have to change the whole transmission. Um, I don't know about the whole transmission, but you definitely would have to put some extra stuff in there. Yeah, to and make it, it work. Know, yeah, you'd have paddle shifters, so I mean, that's a very good thing. We have to look into that because I know these aren't much different. This has the same transmission, the CF80, as the uh, Demon does. So I wonder how hard it would be to get a Demon 2650 stall converter and get your uh, your trans brake set up for this car because. A lot of it might just be electronic, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I know that uh, Lots right. of Fame actually took his red eye and put the Demon computer in it and made his car Demon. Really? Yeah. So we may have to look into what we can... I don't know. More to come on that. Yeah, but, it might be, that might be a good little mod feature. Might have to put that on the wish list. 
Oh yeah. Anybody out there looking to do uh, expensive Christmas gifts? Uh, <laughs> Fast know, hit, me up, hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> I'm always open to those. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, this car's uh -oh, incredible. Uh oh, we got a we got a we got a car coming up behind us. Oh no. Oh, it's a scat. It's okay. <laughs> well, uh, he was there for a second. But, uh, <laughs> still, uh, good people. Yeah, man. Everybody's always so. The cool. Mopar community, dude. It's like, well, they're always like the thumbs up. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, man, it's it's so cool. But, and we live in such a huge uh, car culture here in the valley. Yes. Like, there's always something car going on. Yes. And it, it's. Uh, I'm gonna try and get out to more of that, especially. Um, I know there's a lot of events all over the place, but man, I don't a lot know. of times I'll, uh, I mean, if, if, if you want to be in that loop, like I get hit up, like I probably get 20 or 30 events a week. Well, I know invited, you're one of the to out here for that stuff. But it's, uh, and we put, we host a lot of like, we, I have, we have a turn and burn spot, like a little private. Yeah. Got sealed, you know, videos. where <laughs> select people get to come and they're really fun yeah. events, you know, and, uh. We, we have a uh, like well and just invite a bunch of the car community out and just do a big hot dog and hamburger cookout. I've seen you with the they grill. bring all the kids and like it's just like that. That's what it's all about for me, man. It's just connecting with people and oh yeah, and you know, it, it is a big family. You know, it's, it's a big family and it's fun. It's it's fun for me, man. I, I love seeing the kids come out googling over the cars and you know well, you have to get the, the sickness built into them before they're old enough to buy the car yeah. so they can join and be the next one to carry that torch. And the little kid, like, this is a big Hot Wheels car to them. Oh, Like, I sure. run them in at the gas station. They're like, where'd you get that Hot Wheels car at? I'm like, <laughs> man, I bought it at Walmart. Yeah, they sell and them. they're like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, they're all great. about that, man. They're like, they're all funny. They're, they're like little, you know, PJ Maxx costume on <laughs> jumping around the gas station and stuff. That's but, awesome. like, kids can get me to do anything. Oh, like, yeah. And my wife I'll be I'll like, they'll, they'll be uh, five kids at a bus stop on the side of the road going, do a burnout. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> My wife's like, what are you doing? 